Okay, guys, so I got my FR Sky R-XSR receiver from Race Day Quads, and on their website is this screen or this paragraph that's on the listing that you need to go download this legacy firmware from this link highlighted in blue because the receiver comes with the access firmware, and if you don't have a FR Sky radio and radios with older ACCST versions, then you're not going to be able to bind it. So click on that link and then it will lead you to another website, a Google Drive uh, website in which you will see this file show up. So what you're going to need to do is download all of those files onto the SD card that goes into your transmitter. So that's how we need to reflash the R-XSR firmware so that your jumper T light can be compatible with it. So now on your jumper T light, what you need to do is install the external module that came with it in the packaging like I showed you here. So you need to unscrew the left three screws and the right three screws that you see on the back side of the grips. And then once you do that, you just basically plug in the ribbon cable of the external module into the inside of the jumper T light controller so what you need to do is after you take the back cover off, go ahead and slide that ribbon cable through the back hole of the jumper T light and then plug the ribbon into your jumper T light controller. After you've gotten your jumper T light controller put back together, now you need to modify this cable that, that should probably come with your flight controller like it did with mine. And then you're going to see this black connector on the right and you need to make sure that you have the black cable in the middle, the yellow on the bottom and the red on the top in this orientation. If you don't do that, that, then you're going to mess up the power and signal connections to your jumper T light controller and you could mess it up. So do it like this. And it's not too difficult to do either. Here's a close up. Basically, you see these three tabs in the middle where the connectors go in, right in the middle of the connector. Basically, those lift up and secure into those terminals of your cables. And so you just basically can get like a little tiny pocket knife or a pick or something like that just to slightly lift those tabs up to pull out the terminal and then slide them into the correct places. Welcome to OpenTX, throttle warning. So what I'm doing here is that after I've powered on the jumper T light controller with the external module in it, I'm taking the voltage reading of all of the pins on the external module in order to get the signal readings. So I actually did all of the work for you and your jumper T light should hopefully be the same. So the battery is uh, 3.7 volts. And then the first three pins don't really have any signal there. And then you can see what I wrote down here for the black, yellow, blue, green, and white wire that's on the back side of the module, what those signal readings were. After you found all the signal readings, go ahead and power off your jumper T light, and then you can plug in the black connector. When you plug in the black connector into the external module, make sure it's on the far right three pins, and make sure that the red wire is on the left, black in the middle, and yellow on the right. Go ahead and plug in your FR Sky, R-XSR receiver into the white connector as shown. After everything is plugged in, go ahead and turn on your jumper T light again and go to the memory card. And hopefully your memory card already has that software that we talked about earlier in this video. Once you're in the memory card menu, go ahead and select firmware. Select the firmware that you've saved on the memory card. And then you want to go down and select the third one here that I've shown you on the screen. And after you do that, go ahead and make sure that you flash the external module. So once you do that, basically you're just waiting. And uh, here, don't touch anything. Just give it some time to do all that work. And then everything should hopefully be okay. You should see that status bar go all the way to the end. Once all of that is done, grab your R-XSR receiver and plug it into the flight controller. And then locate this button on the receiver. You're going to need to hold this button down and at the same time plug in the power from your battery into the ESC of the drone. 
You should hear the following tone and see a solid green light and a red light on. Go ahead and turn on your Welcome jumper T light. Throttle warning. Switch warning. And go to the profile you have set up for your quad and scroll down to the internal RF. Make sure you have multi FR Sky X. And go to the receiver and select the BND or bind. Select the first option in the pop-up window and you should hear the following chirp sounds. If it is successful on the receiver, you will see the red light blinking and the green light still solid. Go ahead and unplug the battery and plug it back in and look at your receiver. The green light should be blinking as shown and the other lights will be off. If your jumper T light is Welcome too close to, to the receiver TX. like this, lost. you may lose telemetry. Try moving it away and the telemetry, telemetry will recovered. be recovered. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the video. If you don't like it, click the dislike. If you don't like it, click the dislike button twice.